Do you want to create an amazing and professional looking logo for your Shopify store? Then you're in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily create a free logo using an online tool called Canva. Hi, I'm Alicia. Here, I share tips, tricks, and information to help you build, launch, and grow your online business, giving you the flexibility and freedom to work from home. One thing people get stuck on when creating their online store is creating or coming up with a professional looking logo. But I'm here to show you that you don't need to use this as an excuse to hold you back from opening your online store. Yes, it is important to have impressive looking branding for your online store to help increase sales, but not being able to spend money on your branding or have that feeling that the logo that you create needs to be set in stone from the get go shouldn't hold you back. In fact, many big companies have and will change their logo from time to time. You might also be thinking that you need to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars to a graphic designer or spend a few hundred dollars on Fiverr or Upwork to get someone to do it for you. But the truth is, you can create a professional looking logo for free using Canva. In saying this, I don't want to discount the value of using a professional graphic designer or artist to create a logo for you. As you gain sales and momentum within your business, you might think about reinvesting some of your profits into upgrading your branding or logo. And I think that's a great idea. In fact, I would encourage it. Anyway, let's dive into this video and I'll show you the process I use to create a free logo for my online stores. Okay, so let's dive in and I'll show you the process I use to come up with a logo for my online stores. Depending on what niche you're in will determine the type of logo you create. For example, a store selling children's toys would want to have a fun and cheerful feel to it, or a yoga accessory store would have a more relaxed and calm feel. Today for this example, we'll be creating a logo for a store selling yoga apparel and accessories. The first step is to find inspiration for your logo. I do this by using Pinterest or Google search to find other logos that are in the same niche. Now the point I want to make here is to make sure that you are searching for inspiration. I know you wouldn't do this, but you want to make sure that you aren't completely copying anyone's logo. I wouldn't want you to get into any legal trouble here. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, let's go find some inspiration. So for our yoga apparel and accessory store, I'm gonna head over to Pinterest to find my inspiration. So what I'll do here is in the search bar, just type in yoga logo, hit enter. And what will happen, Pinterest will come up with a whole heap of images that have a yoga logo tag to them. So if we scroll here, we can find all these inspirational images. And what I would do is I'll just spend a couple of minutes just searching through and just finding a couple that I like and then base my logo off of ones that I see here. So let's just search down and find there is plenty of beautiful logos here that we can get some inspiration from. And just having a quick look, I am liking this logo with the lotus flower on it. So I might use that for inspiration. I do like this bold text, for example, in this Yoga 108 logo here. So now that we've got our inspiration, let's head over to Canva and create our logo. So the tool we'll be using to create our free logo is Canva. If you don't already have Canva, you'll want to sign up for a free account. I'll leave a link in the description below. Canva does provide logo templates in a square format but I find that this format doesn't work well for a Shopify store. So what you want to do is create a custom size artboard. So we do this by clicking the create a design button, custom dimensions. For the width, I would put in 500 pixels and the height 200 pixels and then click create design. So from Pinterest, we found that we liked bold lettering and we liked the Lotus icon. So what you can do is just go to elements here and where it says search icons and shapes, let's click in Lotus here, oops, Lotus and enter. And what will appear are images or icons based on what we've searched. So let's have a scroll down and you can see all these different images. Some of these elements you have to pay for, 
but some of them are free. So for example, this one here is free, this one here is premium, so you have to pay for that element. Um, and this one here is free. I actually like this one, so let's click on that. And when you click on it, it'll auto-populate onto your artboard. Let's just resize that. Drag it across. Now, um, for a yoga brand, um, like I mentioned, you want a more calm and relaxing vibe. Red tends to be a little bit harsh and a little bit of a warmer color. So we want a calmer color like a blue or a green. So what you can do is you can actually change these colors by clicking these buttons up here. I'll leave the black, but I might change this color here to a cool blue. There we go. Much better. Okay, now let's add some text. Just click on the text button here, click add a heading, and we are going to call our store uh, yin and yoga. Now this font is nice, but let's change it to something a little bit more bold, um, as that's what we liked in our inspiration from Pinterest. So I'm going to click here to change the font. As you can see, Canva has plenty of um, free fonts that you can use. I'm just going to choose a font called Now, Now Bolt. Okay, now let's resize that and replace that here. And let's add some more text, add a subheading. We want to change this font, so click up here and we want to search for now and we'll just go to now regular and let's resize that, drag it down. Okay, now we just want to have a play around with the sizing here, so let's resize our icon and this here. What I might do is just increase the letter spacing. And increase the size, maybe 32. Maybe we'll just change this and color to be the same as our Lotus logo. There we go, I think that's looking pretty good. What I might do is just select all of it and just get it as big as I can on this artboard. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. Yin and Yoga apparel and accessories logo um, that we've created for free. Now to save that, all you want to do is you want to go up here to this little arrow and line button, just click on that, and you want to download. Um, I suggest downloading it as a PNG or you can download it um, as a JPEG if you like. I just like to use the PNG as it's the highest quality image. Just press the download button. So there you have it. Here's our logo that we created using Canva um, completely for free and it took next to no time at all. So like I said, just spend that time going on Pinterest or searching through Google to find your inspiration and then use that to create an incredible looking logo that you can upload onto your Shopify store today. So there you have it, a free and easy way to create a professional logo for your Shopify store. Have you created a logo using Canva? Then I would love to check it out. So be sure to leave a link in the description below and I'll go check out your online store's logo. Also, if this video was helpful and it's given you the inspiration to create your own logo, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're after more tips, tricks and tutorials, be sure to subscribe as I'll be uploading another helpful video next week. Okay, bye for now.